So as you guys heard yesterday, uh, Basil Chapman is having an opening call subscriber webinar. So that is a subscriber only webinar, okay? This is gonna be very nice. Sectors and stocks for the next market phase. Of course, we're in a very transitional period, as I was just saying. The market is rallying very strongly. You have sector rotation to continue as new groups rally. Former out of favor, big losers are becoming big winners. That is gonna be this Thursday, November 14th, four o'clock to 5.30 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, so if you're a subscriber, make sure you show up there. You email me at jacob at tfnn.com. Um, and if you're not a subscriber, I really recommend checking this out, at least just for the month to see what you can get out of it. You get access uh, to all of the other newsletters, or excuse me, all the other webinars that he's had. And if it is your first time ever, uh, you get a 30 day money back guarantee. If for whatever reason it doesn't work out for you, we're betting that it's going to, and uh, it's essentially risk free right there. So really come in, check this out. Again, if you can't make it, that is okay. We're gonna record this entire webinar. That's gonna be up for you. And if you're a subscriber or become one at the uh, end of this day, you're gonna get access to all of his webinars that he's done in the past. We are joined right now by Basil Chapman. Basil, how are you doing? I'm well, Jacob, how are you? I'm doing well, just a fine Tuesday here in Florida. A little bit hot, but you know you can't complain. Well, it's very windy here. Good. So. We're going to get some of that this weekend, hopefully. Basil, what are we? Uh, what are we looking at right now? So, okay. So, uh, regards to the webinar that's coming up, yeah. we have already started implementing this particular format of looking at uh, what did work very well and then had huge declines, and has started to come back quite strongly. We're looking at the stocks and sectors that have had huge moves. I mean, gold could be one of those and taking a breather. Uh, that's really important. And what, what we want to be looking at in terms of portfolio, looking at our particular picks as if it was a portfolio over the coming many weeks, and that's going into the end of the year. So with that regard, looking at the Dow at this particular point, the Dow is at, a, as you mentioned, a spectacular a move from a week ago. Uh, the 41,649 low that was made at the beginning of uh, November, we're at 44,047 right now, but we did hit yesterday 44,486. This is the Dow on the left side chart. But if I'm, I, I'd like to just explain that. So I like to look at each uh, segment time wise uh, separately. For instance, the Dow daily, this big spike with a big gap, this gap doesn't have to be filled yet. Maybe later on it will. Uh, Near-term gaps will be full, but we haven't even got those. So what's really important is I like to look, and this is a daily chart on the left, is the indicators. So the nine-period moving av average uh, is above the 14-period moving average, so it's green when it's below its pink. This is That's a good sign. The price is way above, and that gives 43400 the nine period moving average key support if that's to break in the next week or two. So that's number one. But look at the MACD, the moving average convergence uh, divergence. The, the histogram, that's these little vertical lines, are really strong. And this gray line right here, which is the RSI, doing very well. The stochastic is flat at 93%. I always say, if you are long, and we've been long for a long time and we've added to that position, if you are long, you want to see the stochastic holding steady up in the 90% area because that is a confirmation. That's what you really want to see. All the textbooks say uh, over 80% is overbought. I say overbought, that, the implication there is, oh, oh, something's wrong. No, that's exactly what you want. 80 and then going to 90, then 95. At some point, you know it's going to come back down into the, uh, the uh, 60, 50% area, but as long as it's flat, that's really good, and that's what we've got. So this, right. to me, is very positive. That's the date. The weekly chart had a big spike to the upside, and uh, all the technicals here are also very strong, and the same with the monthly. So, well, Basil, uh, yeah, stay right there, Basil. Uh, folks, we'll be right back with Basil Chapman, the opening call newsletter. Get in here, get to the webinar. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone. This is Jacob Shupier watching The Tom O'Brien Show. We are joined right now by Basil Chapman. He's the author of the opening call newsletter. Uh, this Thursday, 4 o'clock to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, he is having a subscriber-only webinar. Again, for the price of his newsletter and the value you get from not only getting access to this webinar that he's going to do, but all prior ones, it's, it's just phenomenal. Uh, Basil, we were looking at, uh, I guess, the Dow here before we went to the break. 
Uh, what else are we checking out? So I wanted to give that as a backdrop to say yeah. so far, the technicals, and I'm doing this purely on technical, I, I, there are fundamentals that I add to it, but at this point, I really want to look at, at the technicals and the daily, the weekly, and the monthly chart of the Dow, the, the, and the, the Dow weekly and monthly, as I say, as well as the S&P and the QQs are all still very good, and the IWM has been very, very, uh, th this has been a very strong rally. Before I get to that, yeah. I thought I'd just do this. I want you to talk about, so the S&P has gone to an all-time high. Uh, yes, there was an all-time high today. It's just a little bit below that. Uh, the, again, the weekly, the daily chart is very strong, stochastic at 94%. That's great. The uh, weekly chart, stochastic at 90%, nine-period moving average over the 14, and the breakout of this long-term from the the March 2009 666 low, he has a trend line, and we've gone above that for the very first time uh, ever over the last five months. It's every month it's been uh, above it, and the last three months it's actually closed above this green line, what I call a chapter wave inside track, and I'll talk about these particular indicators. And I've been saying there has to be a time where the IWM, the Russell 2000, plays catch up. We've seen patterns yes. repeat over and over in the market. It's like a, yes. um, it's like a fractal. It's like something in human nature. One thing, one party does it, and at some point you're going to get another party to do that. I mean, people don't mean party per se. Now, what we're looking at is so the S and P has been very strong. So the IWM. And we were very fortunate. We, we got along the IWM, the Russell 2000, the day after the low of 196.60 on the 5th of August. And we've been long and we've added to it. We've subtracted to do it. And we've actually added again. We waited for today's dip. Every day I give a market <laughs> call and I discuss what we're looking uh, for that particular day. I was anticipating some kind of a slide today. And if there was that slide, there were certain things we wanted to do. And that's why I say, if people are interested in my webinar, you got to kind of sign up as soon as you, you see it advertised if you're really interested because we are putting positions on. The, they don't wait for us. We've got to be absolutely prepared for us. So yeah. that's that's a very important thing. So the IWM is very strong in this cup pattern, cup formation here that says that if it, if it breaks uh, the high that was made of 222 and it's done that now, then the next level would be the all-time high of 244.46. So that's a pattern that we look at. So talking about patterns, um, I'm just going to add this quickly because there was something else I wanted to add, but I'm going to say we were looking, I brought this up the other day, well, a little while ago, I said, look, there's a pattern that forms in the market. It's called a cup and handle. Yep. You can see in this monthly chart, of the uh, this is the right here if I can find iShares Transportation Areas ETF there's this beautiful cup formation and then it makes not one of my favorite patterns unless you're going to play this to the upside and you want to get it as this handle pattern is starting to move to the upside I said and patterns repeat they don't know they're not connected to one another they just repeat well have a look at this pattern right here a cup and a handle, and it broke out, and that's the Bitcoin futures. So we we're very fortunate. We got into the uh, the, uh, the IBT, IBIT, which is the iShares Bitcoin, uh, about a week and a half ago. Great. And as you can imagine, it's done really well. Yeah, and no kidding. And Bitcoin, as we're speaking, is an all-time high. Um, so that's and there's the same pattern. This is the handle part of the cup and handle. And this is a pattern that I call, oh, I had erased it. I have it in uh, different, uh, but I'll show it to you now. It's called the Chapman Wave Cup and Ladle. It's not the handle, where the handle stops at the previous lip and then makes this little cup formation. My technique that I developed a long time ago, just by observation, is that if you go to a peak A and a B, and if you can powerfully go through the left side high, you can go much higher and you'll still get to a leg D because D is always our target. So in the daily chart, the Bitcoin has gone to a leg D. In the weekly, it's only a leg C. And the futures, it is a D. And that's the particular pattern there. Now, I'll bring this up because... We, I mentioned this to you a little while ago. I said, I keep getting calls about we once had draft kings, but I found that the pattern that I was looking at was not that favorable. The pattern that I really liked was in a, a kind of a cousin called Genius Sports Limited, does the same thing, data, betting, marketing uh, from London. 
and uh, G-E-N-I is the symbol. So we had this, and I had the same Chapman Wave cup and ladle pattern, which said that if we break out sharply here, they should go to at least a D. And then I've also got a pattern that I call left side, right side. This is price symmetry, where you can use the number of bars on the left side to the number of bars on the right side to, to match in time a uh, particular uh, performation. So there's the cup. There's a little mini handle. And it broke out, and I guess it had earnings. I thought I typed in here that the earnings were on the 15th. When, when doing, we do, we had two positions in this. We we took profits in one, and we've still got one position from in the 650s. Here it is at 9.39. It's up 16% today alone, and it must have had earnings. So this is the type of thing I'm looking for. I like to spread for subscribers. I like to have price points. For some people that like, they, they very much like the under $10 stocks. Well, yes. this is an under $10 stock. I like to have those. I have the mid price. I have, we have Microsoft from G38 is trading right now at 423. So I like that mix. So it's a, um, this uh, webinar is going to be a very functional one. I'll do some of the Chapman Wave uh, notations, et cetera, but I will stop the camera at that particular point so that people can take a picture of it or stop it when they look at the archive. And, but for those who already know all these techniques, I'm moving on quite quickly. So it's really one that says, these are the stocks, these are the positions, that, these are the ETFs or whatever it is that we're looking at. This is what we are wanting to buy over the next period because this particular environment really uh, is allowing this particular sector to now break out to the upside. And we'll talk about sectors that could stall. So it's going to be a very, a very pragmatic uh, webinar. Yeah, and, and you brought up a great point earlier as well. You know, getting in and subscribing as soon as possible. You have an update uh, every day, right, for the every opening day, call yes. newsletter. That is so in, important just, just by itself, right? But especially preceding um, a webinar like this when we're talking about, you know, what is going to win going forward in this market that's kind of changing. You know, great, great point. So absolutely, guys, if you're listening and you want to get in on this, you should do so ASAP so you can start getting those newsletters in. And uh, you can prepare for Thursday uh, at 4 o'clock and 5.30 p.m. Yep. And, and uh, every week uh, I try to get it done Friday. I used to do it Saturday, but now I try to get it done Friday. I do a web, yep. a, a video of about an hour. The last one was about an hour and a half because there was so much to discuss <laughs> right. after the election. And we were in the right positions for going into the election and coming out of it. So it was very important to spend some time. So every weekend, if you, if you want to take the time, you don't have to. But if you want to, I go through all the positions that we have, what we're looking at, why we're looking at it, and what we're going to, we've anticipated what's come about and what we hope will happen based on the technicals for the next period. Yeah, next it's period. such a value added thing to have that uh, Friday release as well. Well, Basil, thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Thank then, you uh, very much, Jacob. Have a great evening.